Yeah. <laughs> the Lord is good. <laughs> he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I call upon you, Lord, to hear my prayers. Father Lord, on your solid rock I stand. Have mercy. Father Lord, have mercy. These are my prayers. This is from God I pray for. He can play the piano, he can sing, he's a comedian, he's an MC. The list goes on and on and on. Let's give it up for the one and only Kwame Asa Bruno. Now, Mr. Asa Bruno likes to put a smile on everyone's face. His dislike is the opposite. His favorite food is a pim and and consumer stew. And his favorite scripture is John 3.16. And he's actually going to do a stand-up comedy. So this adds to his list of talents. Are you guys ready for him? Let's give it up one more time for Kwame Antabu. Thank you. How are you all doing today? Are you enjoying the show so far? that should not be heard by anyone who is not here today. So please stand to your neighbor and tell him or her, neighbor, neighbor. Please, please adhere to these instructions. Don't tell anyone about what Mr. Brian is going to say. If he hears this anywhere, you are in big trouble. Thank you very much. You see, the Lord has been really good. I was thinking about the way I ended up in America. America. You see, long time ago, as you can see, I'm really <laughs> grown. When I was about to come here, I had never sat in a plane before. So this was my first time in sitting in a plane. And uh, it was really interesting. Oh, Brita, ah. oh, Brita, eh. can you hear me? Yes. Ah. And on my way, my mother actually was worried, so she prepared me, she talked, and some guy. I was coming with my sister. I had just been given a cream suit. I really wanted to wear it tonight. It was really an impeccable suit. And I was in my cream suit, and that was my first cream suit. Oh yes, my first. On my way, I decided to set the shito and the gari on my lap. Because I did not want anyone to really taste it or anything of that sort. So, somewhere along the line, they brought us some food. 
I did not see it as food. <laughs> I thought it was something uh, for, for the goats. <laughs> so I refused to eat it. And I ended up <laughs> opening my shit up. Oh my goodness. The moment I opened the can of the shit up, everybody started turning around. The smell was so powerful that they couldn't stand it. But I cared less and I enjoyed it. But not knowing the shit up was actually sipping some oil. The fried oil that my mom gave me. So everything spilled on my lap. Oh my goodness. So we, I, I ended up at Gatwick Airport. You know where that is, right? In London, England. Yeah. Yeah. Gatwick. That was the first stop. When I landed and I picked up my, my bag, I realized that it was soiled with oil, fried oil. So the moment we got there, I decided to look for a bathroom so I can wash it and maybe put it back on because we have six hours to wait. Trying to see if there was a toilet or bathroom written somewhere. I couldn't see it. So I kept moving around. I kept moving around. And someone said, oh, you just spilled so much. Uh -uh. <laughs> but they kept pointing. I said, I'm looking for. But I couldn't tell anyone. I couldn't ask anyone. Then I saw a sign saying to restroom. I said, oh, no. This place they rest. <laughs> I need a place that I can uh, wash my, <laughs> my trousers, my trousers, not pants, trousers. So I went around looking for washroom. I couldn't find washroom. I saw a restroom. But I saw that people were going in and out, going in and out. I said, well, this man, he went in. But he came right out. He didn't rest. <laughs> so let me go and check the place out. Maybe if it's a restroom, they may have, you know, something. So when I entered, I realized it was a bathroom. <laughs> so I was able to watch it. Fast forward, I got to JFK. I said, I'm in America. And they said, welcome to America. Everybody was saying, you know, the way that the, the air hostess and all that. I got down, you know, and then all of a sudden I was in this building. And they checked my bags, everything, and then I went out. When I got out, I looked around. I said, mm, I think I, <laughs> I have missed where I'm going. This doesn't look like America. Because in America, I know I have envisioned it to be like heaven, even though I haven't seen heaven ever before. But I thought when you get to America, you will see some serious buildings. But the place was all yama yama. And on top of it, they took me to Bronze. When I got to Bronze, come and see. Roaches that can really fly. <laughs> and rats that are bigger. Welcome to America. Are you ready to hear what the judges have to say about your performance? Judges, believe. Thank you very much. We were very entertaining and interesting. We got to laugh the whole time. So we enjoyed it. Thank you. Sam? It was nice. Uh, my first encounter in 96, I was met with uh, Popeye's chicken. So I was good. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have a great stage presence. And like I said, you're a natural born entertainer. Keep it up. Milton, I enjoyed it as well. I like how you gave us a story, including all the jokes, and so it kept me entertained and wanted to know more. So I, I really did. Thank you, judges. Let's give it up one more time for Mr.